eternal destiny. That's just as plain as I can put it. And you may sit there and have all kinds of things going through your head. Well, I've been going to church for years and years and years, and, and I'm a good person, and I pray, and I this, and I that. Don't matter. That's right. If you haven't truly accepted Christ, and believe me, I don't know about here, I don't know hearts, uh, but believe me, there are churches packed with people this morning going to church all their life and never accepted Christ. That's right. There are people who read their Bible and have never accepted Christ. There are people who pray and have never accepted Christ. You have to truly accept Christ Amen. in order to be born again, right. in order to escape that lake of fire. You have to truly accept Christ. What does that mean, to accept Christ? It means this. Just as plain as I can tell it, you understand that Man sin, God can't abide sin, sin can't enter to, into the presence of God. So because of that, sin has to be discarded, done away with. How is that done? In the lake of fire. That's how that's done. But, because God didn't want us in that lake of fire, He sent His Son who did all those things that we have talked about, uh, suffered and died and rose again, uh, so that sin debt could be paid. And it is paid. The sin debt is paid. Okay, so why don't I get to go to heaven? You have to accept that payment on your behalf. Right. Amen. He don't force it on anybody. Yeah. He don't push it on anybody. Right. You have to accept it. Right. You have to realize that if I don't accept it, that lake of fire is where I'm going. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My only escape from that lake of fire is to accept Christ. Well, if I accept Christ, then I can't do this and I can't do that and, and I'll have to stop this and start that and do all that. If you truly accept Christ, anything he asks you to stop, you'll want to stop. Right. If you truly accept Christ, anything he asks you to do, you'll want to do. Mm -hmm. It won't be, uh, when we're in sin, we think how hard it would be to stop doing this thing that I'm doing. But when you accept Christ, it is your pleasure to stop doing that thing. Right. Praise the Lord. Thank you. We get too much in our head uh, about all of that. Here's what I want you to know. Here's what you need to understand. This is the bottom line. It's Christ or it's hell. That's, right. That's yeah. it. Right. It's Christ or it's the lake of fire. What, what is worth going to that lake of fire? What is worth spending eternity in that lake of fire. As I said, uh, when I started, I think I got a message for everybody here. If you are truly born again and you are serving God, you got to look forward to the first resurrection yeah. where you get to spend eternity with Christ. We get to be uh, kings and priests uh, and all those great things that it talks about and spend eternity in that place that uh, he describes later on in there. Uh, that's for us. If you have been going to church and you have been reading your Bible and you have been praying, uh, uh, but you have never truly, totally surrendered to Christ, then you're going to be in the second resurrection. Right. You can't spend enough time in church to get you out of it. Right. You can't spend enough time reading the Bible to get you out of it. You can't spend enough time being nice to get you out of it. You have to truly accept Christ. Amen. 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 If you don't fit into either one of them categories, uh, then you're in that list that I read where I said the unbelieving. Mm -hmm. And if you're in that category, you don't believe you need to do this. Uh, you don't believe that God would do that to you. Uh, you don't believe all that mumbo-jumbo, when I die, I just cease to exist, or uh, whatever other thought that you may have in your head, you're going to find out one day that ain't true. That's and right. if you're in that category, then you're going to be in that second resurrection. Right. And all those in that second resurrection, what did it say? Are cast into the lake of fire. Amen. People who go here know this, and I'm, I'm going to say it, and I'm not going to spend a lot of time. I'm getting ready to wrap this up. I don't come up with this. That's right. This is the Word of God. Amen. I try my very best to only give you the Word of God. I try to preach 
Each time I stand, what I really feel in my heart, God would have me to preach. And I really feel God had me preach this message. God doesn't have me preach things for no reason. That's right. Because he wants to talk to you. That's right. mm -hmm. He wanted you to know these things. And now that you know these things, you have to determine what are you going to do with these things. Right. If you know beyond a shadow of a doubt, if you were to drop dead right now, your eternity is with him, the glory hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. If you have any doubt, you better make sure. If you have any doubt whatsoever, you need to make sure. You don't know when you're going to go. You don't know when you're going to be called. We all have that appointment. I started out saying it is appointed unto man once to die. And you are going to keep that appointment. Whatever state you're in, when that appointment day comes, that's the state you will stand before God in. Mm -hmm. That appointment will be kept. You can have a doctor appointment, call them and change, cancel, whatever. You can't do that with this appointment. It will be kept, and you don't know when it is. You may not make it home today. You might. You might not make it through the week. You might. You just don't know. That's right. But when he calls, you will answer. That's right. Then what? Are you ready to answer? Are you ready for that call? If you're not sure, you need to make sure. If you know that you're definitely not born again, that you're definitely not saved, you better do something about it before it's eternally too late. That's right. Before that appointment comes. And, and I'll say this. God doesn't have to keep giving you opportunities either. You may say, I'll wait till this or that or whatever. How do you know God will give you an opportunity then? You don't know. He's not obligated to keep giving you chance after chance after chance when you reject the chance. He doesn't have to do that. When you have the opportunity, is the time to take the opportunity. The Bible says, today is the day of salvation. Tomorrow may be. If, if you're uncertain, if maybe you said a prayer one time or somebody told you you were okay or whatever, but down in your heart you, you're not quite sure, I'm going to ask you, come up here and make sure. Come to this altar and make certain that you've made it right with Christ. That if your appointment is today, if your appointment is tomorrow, whenever your appointment is, that when that time comes, you know you are ready. If you know you're not ready, definitely. I'm going to ask you to come up here and get ready. Because you don't know how much time you've got. Right. You don't know when that's coming. And I can guarantee you, according to the Word of God, those two things I talk about are the only two choices once this life is over. And I told you, you can only get in through Christ. And if you don't have Christ, you're not getting in. That is that. We're going to bow our heads and pray. If you need to pray, if you need to make certain, come in.